Hi, so today's discussion, uh, we are going to look at uh, the events related to MAP current affairs in the last one year. So what we'll be technically doing is uh, take a tour of the world and uh, we will discuss locations which are more relevant to the exam. So first to get an idea of how the previous year questions are when it comes to map based questions. So if you take regions which are in increasing regions of uh, conflict, for example, they have good reflections when it comes to your UPSC prelims. If not conflict, the second type of questions which they ask is with reference to borders. Borders as in, uh, you can say, which country is landlocked, uh, which country has access to, let's say, Pacific Ocean or Atlantic Ocean or maybe a small inland area like a Caspian Sea. And the third type of question when it comes to a map, apart from your conflict and borders, is the presence of rivers. Rivers as in, where do they originate and where exactly do they end? So these are the three broad contours on which you have previous year questions in UPSC. So what we are going to do right now is that in the last 12 months, in the current affairs, we are going to travel to different regions of the world. And in these regions, we are going to look at things which have more probability of questions in the examination. So the first region which we are going to start with is the Middle Eastern region. If you take the relevance of questions uh, for Middle Eastern region, since 2015, you at least get one question from the particular region of West Asia or Middle Eastern part. So when it comes to this, we look at two or three critical areas in which there are more possibilities a student can make error. And from then on, we'll proceed to region number two. So the first region which I'd like to talk about is this one called as the Strait of Hormuz. Now, Strait of Hormuz is located exactly between the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman. So this is Persian Gulf, Persian Gulf, and this is the Gulf of Oman. And one can understand the significance of this region pretty much from the countries which border Persian Gulf. So starting from Iraq to Iran to Saudi Arabia or to Kuwait, most of your oil and natural gas exporting countries transport their commodities through the Strait of Hormuz, which is present right here. So a typical mistake which candidates make when they answer their prelims question are the two bordering countries which control the Strait of Hormuz. Because we have a lot of international affairs related events especially between the United States and Iran regarding the transit of ships in the Strait of Hormuz. So always keep that in mind. The two countries which are on either side of Strait of Hormuz is one Iran where students usually won't make an error. But the second country is not United Arab Emirates which you see in yellow color. Please remember that the second country is not UAE but a country called Oman. Oman is not a single integrated complex, but it is slightly broken by UAE. So from the larger perspective, there is possibility of misconception that you might make an error here. So always remember that this territory is controlled by Oman and Iran. Now the second part is, are the questions related to bordering countries. Now as I told you before, UPC has a tendency to ask which country borders which particular area. And one important place here is the Persian Gulf. So for the Persian Gulf, we are going to use a simple mnemonic to understand and to remember which country borders which. So visualize this, think about a purse, right? Purse. So purse, Persian Gulf, it becomes easy to remember. So let's say from your purse, you're going to take your money and you take that money so quickly. So you just say, I be so quick. And also remember this, when you use mnemonics, if it is not possible to complete your sentences or complete your words, we always use vowels as fillers because vowels make good fillers, you know, A, E, I, O, U. And as you can clearly see from the mnemonics, there are totally eight countries which border Persian Gulf. So we'll go one by one. First I stands for Iran. B stands for a very small island nation which is present in Persian Gulf called Bahrain. This is B. S stands for one of the largest countries in Arabia, Saudi Arabia. O for a country called Oman. We already seen this just now. Then we have Q, where your football World Cup took place to, to two years back. Q stands for Qatar. Then we have U standing for the Emirati Union, United Arab Emirates. The second I stands for this country, Iraq. And then finally, we have K standing for a country called Kuwait. 
So totally we have eight countries bordering Persian Gulf and I want you to remember clearly that Syria does not border Persian Gulf. Okay, we have to be very, very careful that the word S here stands for Saudi Arabia. Because these are critical areas where students get errors. Because when you try to visualize Middle East, there are a lot of countries and there is always a tendency to go confuse between Syria and Saudi Arabia, to confuse between Iran and Iraq. At least with reference to Persian Gulf, there is no confusion because both Iraq and Iran border Persian Gulf. But keep that in mind, the S stands for Saudi Arabia and not for Syria. Now the second question or let's just say a second important uh, water body related question asked in prelims 2015 and 17 and always more likely because of Israel Gaza conflict which is going on. So we need to look at the western side also on the Middle Eastern countries or West Asian countries which border Mediterranean Sea and it's pretty simple to remember just think about the word list that's all. L stands for the country of Lebanon, I obviously for Israel, S for a country called Syria and then T for Turkey, L I S T, L for Lebanon, I for Israel, S for Syria and then T for Turkey. Again keep that in mind, neither Iraq nor Iraq nor Iran open towards the Mediterranean Sea. It is these four countries which open towards the Mediterranean Sea. And again uh, a call back to Israel-Palestine conflict, please remember one of the important countries involved in uh, you know, well, let's say negotiation or the person who has to take up, uh, who is taking up more responsibility in international affairs is Egypt. So technically, Egypt is very much involved and Egypt borders Israel, okay, and it also is very, very close to Gaza Strip, which you need to keep it in mind. So it is bordering Mediterranean Sea, it is also bordering Red Sea. Second point you need to note is this, keep that in mind, that Israel borders Jordan, Israel borders Lebanon and Israel also borders Syria. But Israel does not border Saudi Arabia. The reason we are giving more stress over this area is because of repeated political affairs articles based on this. And uh, last two, two, three years, there is one more pattern in which UPSC has asked questions. We have seen this in uh, 2023, 2022 and 2018. That is, they give the name of locations, regions or cities. And they ask you a match the following type of question as in, okay, where exactly is it found? Now, please keep it in mind, uh, uh, for example, uh, during 2017-18, uh, there was a lot of conflict going on with the terrorist organization, Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. So, you know, questions were asked based on uh, Aleppo, they, uh, you know, based on where is Mosul, where is Kirkuk, on where it is located. And since, uh, you know, uh, Israel-Palestine uh, conflict uh, is in free, is news frequently, you should definitely know certain locations itself which are present in Gaza. So there could be a question like uh, places A, B and C are present in which region. Okay, so it could be a region based question. So please note down few locations, names which can be a possible prelims question. So we have two terminal crossings in northern part and the southern part of Gaza. One is Eris, number one. So this is in the north. The second region is Rafa. This is towards Egypt. As you would recollect, just now we have seen that Egypt is an important country which has a serious role in this uh, conflict. Apart from these two crossings, like most people would know where Gaza City is. So it's a very, very small uh, strip of land which is actually bordering towards the Mediterranean Sea. So more connections on Gaza City. And you should also appreciate to know two more urban areas where a larger section of Palestinians are getting settled today uh, because of the ground offensive going on in the north. The first is Khan Yunus. This is one uh, region, an urban region. Number two, number two. number one below your, you know, your uh, Gaza City, Khan Yunus, and the uh, uh, second region is right here, Al Bala, Deir Al Bala. So, if you are familiar with the two crossings, I'll repeat again: Eris crossing E R E Z, second is uh, Rafa crossing R A F A H, and the two urban regions, that is uh, Gaza City in the north where we have larger population migrating towards the south for safety, Khan Yunus along with Albala. So these are the major urban, urban regions. So if there is a possible question or a potential questions where they give uh, three to four locations and ask where this is present, please remember it is in the Middle Eastern region and uh, it's predominantly right here. So this is your Gaza Strip, a very, very small portion of land, Gaza, where you have the conflicts between the two regions going on. So that is mostly with reference to 
Middle Eastern part. So keep this in mind on what countries border Persian Gulf, what countries border the Mediterranean Sea also. And one important area which you should always remember is there are some countries which have some let's just say an extra additional advantage when it comes to borders. This is important in geopolitics and also important for map based questions. Look at Saudi Arabia. This is the only country which borders both your Persian Gulf and your Red Sea. And you don't want to make errors if they ask something like this. Because in 2014 there was a question. We'll go to that immediately. So remember this Saudi Arabia borders both Persian Gulf and Red Sea. Now, if you go north, this was 2014 question. Turkey is the only country which is sandwiched or it borders both Black Sea, Turkey is here, and Mediterranean Sea. This was 14 question. And you can clearly see uh, Bulgaria is present right here, the red color one, but Bulgaria does not border uh, Mediterranean Sea, it is only bordering Black Sea. So this is one more important country which has access points on both these seas. And the third important one is the country Iran. Iran is one country which borders your Persian Gulf. Of course, it also borders Caspian Sea in the north. North many, many have the advantages and this is also related to one more important current affairs article which we will explore shortly. Now, the first one which I need to talk about is the uh, United States uh, sponsored program which is technically about constructing a railway line which travels from United Arab Emirates to uh, Saudi Arabia, connecting ports in India, connecting Israel and then from then on trying to forge a connection towards Greece which is technically connecting towards Europe. So this United States uh, uh, West Asia Railway Link is actually in use. So, this is the area of railway link which is planned to be constructed, but we do not know whether the program will go into picture. The reason I am pointing out this current affairs news article is just to tell you how important this region is. So, you should be in a position to look at importance of Iran and Saudi Arabia from here. And also remember in this particular plan, so far Jordan has not signed up. Now, why, why am I reminding this again? Simply because of the fact that please remember Again, Israel and Saudi Arabia do not share technically a border, you have Jordan in the middle. So, for the completion of the plan, one way or the other, you will require Jordan. And also remember, like this city has been mentioned in news, the city of Haifa. So, Haifa uh, is an important, uh, you know, city which is located along this corridor. So, please follow up that particular city. Now, uh, talking about the Middle Eastern region is done. 